Hey, it's Al Spiegel from the McClario firm. October is estate planning awareness month and for October we're going through a bunch of frequently asked questions with regard to estate planning. Today's question is a good one. Uh, if I say I'll be someone's guardian, you know, guardian for somebody's kids, am I legally obligated to do that if they die? Uh, the short answer is no, uh, but uh, if that's the, your situation you probably owe that person a conversation. So the way that it works is when you do a will or a trust, if you have young children like I do, uh, you name someone in that document to be the guardian of those children should you no longer be able to be guardian. In the event of your death, the court looks at that nomination and gives great weight to who, a parent, who the parents selected as guardian. And um, in going through the proceeding to name that guardian, we'll very likely nominate and appoint the person that you've named to be guardian. Now, if the person that you've named tells the court they don't want to be guardian, the court won't appoint them. And then the court's going to go through a process of figuring out who else should be guardian, whether maybe you have some backups, maybe you don't. So if you are that person who has been named guardian or appointed guardian or nominated guardian in a document and you don't want to do it, let those folks know. Let the people that have named you know so that they can figure out who else they want to name and they aren't in a position where they think that it's all set and it's really not. So uh, are you legally obligated? No. Are you morally obligated to have a good conversation with them? Yes, you are. So please do that. If I can help you with anything with regard to your estate plan, please give me a call or look me up online, mclario.com. God bless.